So, now it grows. Today is the 28th of April when we are doing this interview and the, the first thing which comes in my mind is the birthday of a woman which an out, uh, incredible taste. It's Alice Waters uh, from Chez Panisse in uh, San Francisco in Berkeley, from the restaurant Chez Panisse. And um, it's her birthday and she is one of the persons in the world who really put an eye on the question, what is taste and how does things are tasting and, um, and what we say in Germany is we, we, we have the word taste is Geschmack. And, uh, but uh, if you say Geschmack, so the first thing is Geschmacksverstärker, which means to, for, to enforce the taste. This is all about what, what the food industry is nowadays. And Alice wanted to come back to her. She started off uh, um, to say, no, we need natural ingredients and we need natural food and we are fighting for this. And she succeeded and became one of the great chefs in the world and one of the best restaurants. And now she is uh, vice president of Slow Food and I'm a member of Slow Food and the president is Carlo Petrini. And, uh, this is another fighter for taste and for not only for good food, but for good tasting food. I mean, it's always, taste is always a question what people, um, what people like. But I think in general, um, people who take care of food um, also take care of environment. And if you take care of environment, you start to think about how things are functioning and then you start to think about how things are looking and then you start to think about what is my taste to do it in this way. And there are incredible examples, uh, not talking about food, talking about iPod uh, or Bang & Olufsen, where the product is a good product but the design makes a difference. So, and people who want to have taste, they try to get some good design, for example, just also to show other people that they have good taste. This is a different thing from eating. You can eat, you can go in a three-star restaurant and eat, and, uh, and you have no taste at all. You just have money to eat there. Oh yes, we take care of the flowers, because without water, nothing will grow. Okay, let's see. Uh, I mean, what we know is when you are a, a kid, a baby, when you have been just born, that your senses, your taste senses are developed. It's sour, it's sweet, it's bitter, it's uh, sugar. Now we have uh, ugami, a new one, which they didn't have. So there are some basic, basic senses you, you have. But the rest is, I think, like human beings, the rest is development. There are I think 1,900 plants on Earth you can eat. And we eat, uh, I think we eat maybe 300. And if you start to try to tell me how many vegetables you know, you will have a hard time to tell me more than 50 just out of your head. So you see how narrow our tasting is. And so it's always good if you if there is a new thing or you go in a new country or in you go to to Middle East or so or to Marrakesh or to, to, to South America, so that you always try this food and then you will find out if it's good or if it's not and what are the different spices and the different tastes. So you can learn this, but you you, you have something in you, you you like or not as a kid, but then you have to learn it, like all other things. I really liked the idea when I was young, and there was this, still is, still exists, this uh, wonderful woman from, uh, I guess it was Finland, uh, uh, Mari Mekko. It's still, I think it's still alive, Mari Mekko. It, it was a, it, she was a designer, 
and she designed wonderful patterns and wonderful colors, blue, yellow, which fit together. And she made uh, cloths, and, but, but also wallpapers and a lot of other things. Mari Mekwa, I think it still exists, these shops. Yeah. So there was a huge movement in Sweden to train kids in school, in the, in the elementary school, taste, but not food taste, but how to dress you that it works together in a joyful way. And I thought at this time, I mean, this is really, it was around 1964, so far as I remembered, it was a time when I was uh, uh, playing in a rock and roll band and the Beatles came up and, I mean, the, the, the greatest fashion at this time was not to be fashionable, just look like a, an old bump, yeah. So, but I liked this idea that you go in school to be trained, uh, to have a certain style and a certain taste. It, it's a really huge issue. If uh, uh, Taste, I mean, to have bad taste. Do you think war is an interesting thing to, to achieve something? If you have bad taste, you mostly, I think you have bad ideas in a way, yeah? So it's quite a big thing. I mean, it's, this is one of the adventure uh, of life. Uh, I mean, when um, my, my little boy asked me what does plan, because we had some tulips which just opened at the weekend, and said, what do they eat? And I said, tja, air and some, some things out of the ground, and then you can become such a beautiful flower. And uh, yeah. It's just a miracle, nothing else.